Well, the government has firmly responded to allegations made by opposition MPs that their iPhones were being spied on by government authorities. This is after an alert was sent out by Apple which stated that state-sponsored actors may have had a role in this, but Apple has refused to attribute any of the alerts to specific state-sponsored actors or attackers. Apple has said that uh, alerts have been sent to individuals in 150 countries but is unable to provide specific information on the threat notifications. Now, news of this comes at a time when uh, there's a major international effort on to understand the dangers and the opportunities of artificial intelligence. In fact, this is something which I wanted to speak to the Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar about. He does join us now. So we look certainly at artificial intelligence, but also on this major news development which has taken place on Apple. Thanks sir, very much for being with us. Now, the key point made by opposition MPs is that even if there were, who knows, dodgy algorithms at work in Apple, why is it that only opposition MPs have been targeted? How would you respond to that? Apple has uh, seemingly put out that people from uh, many countries have seemed to have got this notification uh, over the last uh, 24 hours or 48 hours. So I think uh, this is more a question that Apple should answer because uh, as we have said today, my colleague uh, Ashwini Vaishnav has said, and I have said, uh, this is something that Apple, who have always stressed that their platform, the secure, designed for privacy, et cetera, et cetera, uh, they must explain whether their uh, platforms and devices are really secure or not. Because if they are either they are secure and this is a false alarm, or if they are not secure and this is something real, then they have to explain what this is and what is the so-called state actor that they are notifying. So either way, I think there is a need for an investigation, which is what uh, um, Mr. Vaishnav has said in the press conference. I'm unfortunately not in Delhi today. Uh, and I think there is there is a certain need because this is a government that takes the business and the duty of privacy of our citizens uh, very seriously. We have the, we are the ones who brought the Digital Personal Data Protection Bill. Yeah. The Supreme Court found that privacy is a fundamental right when Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji was uh, in Prime Minister in 2017. So we think. Apple has to answer a, a number of questions about these devices that they claim are secure uh, to whether they are secure or not. And if they are not secure, uh, then we have a different kind of a problem. But if they are secure and these notifications are going out and alarming people and the word, the phraseology, the verbiage that the notification uh, implies that there are some state actors, who are these state actors? Are they state actors within India? Are they state actors outside the country? Uh, is this some effort to try and disrupt the India-Apple relationship? So uh, there are several questions that arise uh, naturally from what we have heard uh, in the last 24 hours. And that uh, I think a, a lot a lot of that has to do with Apple explaining what is really going on because they've been, in their reply, in my opinion, uh, slightly vague. Bottom line, since you will be speaking to Apple, I'm sure the government is, would it be correct to say that the government of India has no role whatsoever in spying on opposition leaders? I just wanted a clear statement from you, given the allegations that we've been seeing on Twitter. Look, 100,000 uh, percent, uh, this was said even during those meaningless allegations in the past. Uh, you know, uh, it, it, and you know, as we are getting closer to election, we understand it's political season and people will pull out things out of the hat, uh, imaginary and even more imaginary, as bizarre as they can get. But this is a government that takes the business and the duty of protecting the rights of citizens, all citizens, including those in the opposition and those who are not in the opposition. The right to privacy is a fundamental right, and we take that duty very seriously. And, uh, you know, when we've legislated, we've legislated in a very clear manner about what that means to citizens' uh, fundamental right to privacy in terms of data protection. And that applies to all platforms, uh, whether they are Apple or, uh, you know, the social media platforms, we've made it very clear. And this is an issue, certainly, for a platform that claims to be secure, a platform and a manufacturer that claims that its devices are designed for privacy, they are the ones who have to answer uh, what they, you know, is the is their platform uh, really compromisable? Whether it is a state actor within or outside the country, it is for Apple to explain whether this is really possible, and if so, uh, who is doing it or what is what is done. One of the points that Apple did actually say was that the reason they cannot identify a particular actor is that uh, it would give these it would it would potentially give the actors information to uh, to change their 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 behavior or their patterns. So 
Yeah. The information look, is incomplete, Vishnu, but there's a reason yeah. for it. Is the suggestion? Yeah, look, made by Vishnu, you, we, we've seen a pattern with these big tech companies in the past where when there is a need for an absolute clear response to a situation that there is a little bit of this obfuscation. We've seen this in the past uh, with social media platforms, and this certainly is not an acceptable response from a big responsible company like Apple, and certainly a company that we consider a partner with India in terms of how they are investing in manufacturing and growing and creating jobs and so on and so forth. So I think uh, Apple is the one that needs to answer this question about uh, really is their platform secure and you know, hundreds and thousands of Indians are using it, hundreds and millions of people around the world are using it. Is the device really secure? And does it really protect the user and user's information and user's privacy as they claim it does? If it does, then there is the issue that they say that this could be a fake and uh, unreliable threat notification, then that takes uh, goes into play. If it is not, if the first part of it is not that there is some vulnerability, then it is important that we understand what the vulnerability about. And I must point out to you that CERT, yeah. an organization in Meti Vishnu, in October of this year, uh, October of 2022 rather, have pointed out uh, many vulnerabilities in the iOS uh, and have pointed out uh, about three CVEs, uh, as I remember, recall, uh, through, an absolute, uh, through an official advisory to Apple. So it is it is for Apple to clarify. And I can certainly tell you that all of these conspiracy theories that come up that there is some, uh, you know, government hand in it uh, and uh, there is some, you know, some dark dungeon where people are plotting these things uh, certainly is uh, as far from the truth as is possible. 